It's time for kickoff of BYU Women's Soccer on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Left-footed shot, and a goal! What a shot by the BYU Cougars! Coverage of today's game is brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union. Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. Brought to you by Smith's Food and Drug. Get double fuel points and free grocery delivery with a boost by Smith's Rewards Membership. Alongside Rachel Manning Jorgensen, here's Jason Shepard. Good evening, BYU soccer fans. Welcome into Southfield and the first round of the NCAA tournament. Tonight, the six seed BYU Cougars host the Utah Valley Wolverines in a rematch of a game played back in September. Now, the winner of tonight's game moves on to the second round to face either Stanford or San Jose State next Thursday. My name is Jason Shepard. Thank you so much for tuning in to BYU Women's Soccer. Joining me on the broadcast, former Cougar standout Rachel Manning Jorgensen. We'll hear from Rach coming up in just a moment. Now, BYU enters tonight with an overall record of 10, 2, and 6. They are 6, 0, and 3 in the W. UCC. That's how the conference shakes out. BYU undefeated in conference play. While UVU is 15-3-3 overall as well as 8-1-1 in the WAC. Now the Cougars ended the regular season with a 2-1 win at LMU which extended their unbeaten streak to 11 games. BYU's last loss was at home all the way back on September 10th. Guess who to? Utah Valley. 4-2, the Wolverines picked up that victory. That was the Cougars' first ever loss to the Wolverines. Needless to say, this is a game that BYU has been looking forward to. These two teams have actually met in the first round of the postseason before. You have to go back to 2015. BYU won that match 1-0. All right, for more on tonight's matchup, it's time to hear from the head coach of the Cougars, Jennifer Rockwood. Our pregame interview with Coach Rockwood is always brought to you by Zions Bank for big-time banking with a home team feel. Zions Bank is for you. I asked Coach Rockwood how she's feeling about her team heading into the postseason. I just feel really excited. This is what you work all season for is to play an NCAA postseason game, and the fact that we get to play it on South Field is even that much better. We're um, really excited. Girls are ready to go. They've prepared well. Um, they're a very mature and experienced team, and look forward to watching them. What has to be different this time around against UVU for you guys? Well, we just, uh, we're a whole different team uh, than when we played, so um, we'll just uh, do what we do. Um, we've come a long way since that time. Um, we've had some different uh, formational and positional changes. Uh, we've played extremely tough competition that I think has ultimately been our best preparation. Do you feel like, not that last year was easy, but do you think the ups and downs of this season has made you appreciate this a little bit more? Uh, absolutely. We actually had very, very similar ups and downs all of last season. If you if you look at what happened to us, and uh, we had very, very similar ups and downs, um, and then got to conference and really hit our stride. Uh, similar to this this season, you know, we were one or two goals short of a, a conference championship, um, but our level of play was dominant. Um, we outplayed all of our opponents in conference, um, and just feel like we're in a, in a place ready to go for postseason. Thanks, coach. All right, thanks. That's BYU head coach Jennifer Rockwood. We are nearing the kickoff here at Southfield. The players being introduced. The crowd still filing into Southfield. It is a very chilly, I believe last time I checked, you know what, let's give you the most accurate. Let's make sure we give you the accurate weather update. Currently in Provo, Utah, is 31 degrees, mostly clear skies. Expecting the temperature to continue to drop, Rachel. Uh, now, we're just on the sidelines sitting here. The players obviously have to run around in this, but we're expecting sort of mid, mid-20s, mid high-20s for most of the game tonight. It's going to be a cold one. The good news is no rain, no snow, and right now no wind. Yeah, and the girls are certainly prepared out there. They've got some long sleeves underneath their jerseys, and they've got some some gloves and just a little bit extra preparation. They practice, you know, outside this week and, and – and, uh, got to prepare with what they were planning on wearing for the game today so there was nothing new for for tonight so they should be ready to go time now for tonight's starting lineups it is presented by Skedit. team cosmo uses Skedit software to schedule his appearances let Skedit go to work for your entire service company we will start the visitors from orem in goal double zero leah wolf the forwards for utah valley number two is faith weber number 10 juliana carter in the midfield, 
Number three, Heather Stainbrook. Number eight is Nicole Ray. Number nine, Hannah Lee. And number 25, Ashley Hughes on the back line. Number 12, Megan Sullivan. Number 22, Jenna Shepard. Number 23, Nicole Olanda. And number 24, Sydney Bushman. For the home team, BYU Cougars in goal. Number 66 is Savannah Mason. Your forwards tonight. Number 11, Ellie Mann. Number 13, Brecken Mozingo. And number 33, Rachel McCarthy in the midfield. Number 2, Olivia Smith. Number 10, Olivia Wade. At number 12, Jamie Shepard. Number 16, Kendall Peterson. And number 22, Bella Felino. You will hear from Bella coming up at halftime. She is our halftime player interview. On the back line, the freshman, Izzy Stratton. And your WCC Defensive Player of the Year on the back line, number 26, is Laveni Vaca. That is your starting 11 for both teams. Both teams huddling up on the pitch. What are you expecting tonight, Rachel? This is obviously, we mentioned a rematch. BYU looking for a little revenge tonight. This one should be a fun one. Yeah, it's all about, you know, the players being all in for the full 90 minutes out there. Remind yourself as a player what you're good at. Remind yourself what your teammates are good at. Play to your strengths. Play to your teammates' strengths. And just be, you know, all in for the entire time and, and do what you can. I mean, harness your emotions. It's it's an emotional atmosphere out there for the NCAA tournament. But at this point, you have to just give it everything you've got and leave it all out on the field. Both teams making their way out onto the pitch now. BYU wearing black tonight. They're in the black kit with the royal blue and white numbers and letters, Utah Valley. They are wearing a gray kit trimmed in green and white. Crowd still filing in despite the cold temperatures with these two teams being so close, you know, roughly four and a half miles apart. Uh, Should not be an issue having fans in the stands tonight from both teams. I can certainly see a large... A contingent of uh, Wolverine fans to the, uh, I guess that would be the east side of the stands here at Southfield. Certainly standing out amongst all of the blue. Final instructions from both head coaches. Coach Rockwood in her 28th season. Chris LeMay, the head coach of the Wolverines. Utah Valley. Lost in the WAC championship game to New Mexico State. So they are coming in off of a loss, but they did reach the postseason as an at-large, the first time that has ever happened in Utah Valley women's soccer history. And we are underway. BYU has the possession. Pass downfield, Mazingo trying to catch up to it. Cannot do it. The ball sent the other way. But BYU will... Handle the possession and keep it in the neutral third. Shepard now to Mon. Mon straight away stops, starts, cuts to her left, passes wide to Peterson. Peterson's shot bounces up in the air, bouncing around in the 18. UVU comes in, clears it. But Vaca there to save it for BYU. Cougars coming out. Looking to be aggressive on their first offensive possession. Smith has it. Now to Jamie Shepard. Back to Smith. And now back to Stratton. Is he Stratton? Part of the all freshman team for the WCC. As is Ali Fryer. We mentioned that Lavinny Vaca is the. Defensive Player of the Year in the WCC. Jamie Shepard is the WCC Midfielder of the Year. So congratulations to all of those making teams. Olivia Smith and Olivia Wade on the WCC second team. BYU has the ball. Speaking of Olivia Smith, she has it, passes back to Shepard. In the middle of the pitch. And now to Peterson. Petey on the move. Pass to Mazingo on the wing. Good defense by Utah Valley. They'll kick it out of play. Yep, they'll say off of BYU. That must have hit off of Brecken before it went out. So a throw in coming for Utah Valley. Stainbrook throws in right to BYU. Cougs on the move. 
Bella Felino cross into the box through. Uh, nobody was there. It went all the way through the box untouched. And Utah Valley tries to send it the other direction. They'll kick it out of play off of the Wolverines. Throw in on the far side for the Cougars. Ball in play. And Jamie Shepard has it. Well, dribble out of the pressure. Wide to Smith. Now to Mazingo. Mazingo tripped up, no call, taken away by Utah Valley. BYU showing pressure, and it forces a turnover. Felino comes away with it, keeping the ball inbounds into the corner. Good defense. Oh, breaking some ankles as Bella Felino across into the box. Sent the other direction by Utah Valley. Good defense by the Wolverines. But how about that move from Bella Felino to get that cross off? Ball out of play off of Utah Valley. Throw in Cougs. In play to Shepard. The Shepard family well represented in this game. Jamie for the Cougs. Jenna for the Wolverines. Another throw in now for BYU. About four minutes into this match. Ball put in play. Back to Peterson. And it goes off of Petey and out of play. Throw in on the far side for BYU. BYU showing a lot of pressure. Had it for a moment, but UVU will keep the ball. Pass forward. The pass intended for Nicole Ray. BYU's back line takes it away. And now Vaca has it, crossing midfield. Levinny on the move, showing off the speed. Around four other Wolverine players. Her shot deflects, a shot right to the keeper. And a save by Wolf. Nice shot from deep by BYU. I believe that was Ellie Mon taking the shot. But a save. And Utah Valley has possession. Another bad pass. BYU takes it away. Right now, Utah Valley having a hard time keeping the ball to Mon. Mon, a shot from deep, and it sails over the crossbar. Good luck from Ellie Mon. And a goal kick coming for Wolf. Wolf, the freshman from Rochester Hills, Michigan. She's only given up two goals, but she's not been the player that has had the majority of the playing time. That has been Serrano this year. Winner moves on to face the winner of Stanford and San Jose. BYU ball, throw in, taken away by Utah Valley. And for the first time tonight, UVU crosses midfield. A foul is going to be called on the Cougars, I believe, on Peterson. And it will be a free kick right at midfield for the Wolverines. The players to watch for Utah Valley, Faith Weber, the sophomore from Michigan leads this Wolverine team with 14 goals. She also leads the team in shots and shots on goal. And Utah Valley has it. Finally in the attacking third. Good defense by BYU. They take it away. And now trying to keep the ball. The two players run into each other. Shepard ran into Juliana Carter. And I believe that they're going to call a foul on BYU. Nope, they called it on Utah Valley. Wow. It's kind of one of those where you almost say play on. They were both just sort of running into each other. I don't know if anybody was truly at fault, but BYU gets the call. And it's a free kick for the Cougars. Seven minutes into this ball game. Ball played far wide to Peterson. Out of bounds, off of Utah Valley. 
Petey wasting no time throwing it in. UVU the first to get to it. And they lose it out of play. So another throw in for BYU. Peterson handles those duties one more time. Down low. It gets away from the Cougars. And BYU tried to save it, waiting to see if they did. And it will be a goal kick for Wolf. BYU's pressure right now, pretty intense. It's forcing some bad plays, some bad passes by UVU. Needless to say, the, uh, the full court press defensively is on display tonight for BYU. Here comes UVU crossing midfield again. Hughes to Ray. Nicole Ray defended by Smith. Ray passes back to Stainbrook. Heather Stainbrook with 13 goals into the box, and Mason eliminates an offensive opportunity for the Wolverines, runs up a couple of steps, and picks up the soccer ball. BYU possession. Back to Vaca. Takeaway by Utah Valley at midfield. Looking downfield, both teams running for it. Sliding tackle by the Wolverines, and they'll say it went off of Vaca. And the UVU fans here cheering. It'll be the first corner kick of the game, and it will be by the Wolverines. Ball put in play. Vaca showing good defense. Shot from the edge right at Mason. And another offensive opportunity goes by the wayside for the Wolverines. Fillmore Spencer is Utah Valley's trusted, top-rated local law firm. They can play offense, defense, or provide a little coaching. Fillmore Spencer solving problems and seizing opportunities for you, your family, and your business. Takeaway by Hughes, the junior from Salem. Trying to get away from Smith. Pass intended for Weber. And Stratton will catch it before it goes out of play. Actually, she did let it cross the line. So it's going to be a goal kick. Vaca runs up on the ball. Still in the defensive third. Cougars now pass downfield. Nobody there. And it goes out of play. McCarthy was running down on it, trying to save it. Just couldn't get to it quick enough. So a throw-in by Megan Sullivan, the senior from Santa Rosa, California. And they will play it all the way back into the 18, where the keeper will reset for the Wolverines. UBU's brought their, uh, their drum team, which essentially is trash cans. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Those are trash cans. Utah Valley with an opportunity into the attacking third. Hannah Lee, pass wide, and a shot from deep by Lee, and that's way over the net and out of play. Hannah Lee with the shot, goal kick for Savannah Mason. Utah Valley, this is their fourth NCAA appearance as a program. BYU tonight making their 23rd. Imagine that. This program is 28 years old. And BYU has made the NCAA postseason 23 times. That's what you call consistency. BYU turns it over. Utah Valley has it and taken away. Good defense by Felino. Pass into the box to McCarthy. Oh, she had a chance, but a good play by Wolf. Ran up a couple of steps and smothered the soccer ball. That was by far BYU's best offensive look of the night. Yeah, and I love that look from Bella Felino, too. She's looking for her, her forward made up there, and Rachel McCarthy, she was looking for that early through ball because with Rachel's speed, she can 
you know, she's so speedy up there, that through ball is a, is a good look for, their, for uh, the two to combine with. Stainbrook spins out of the defense. Pass taken away by BYU, but the Cougs give it right back. Pass to Ray. Ray intended for Stainbrook. Stainbrook can't get to it. BYU's back line takes over. And uh, Jamie Shepard upended by Hannah Lee. They say play on. Boy, I thought the official had made a call. He sort of motioned, but basically saying get up and play on. Sliding tackle by Nicole Ray. Kicks the ball out of play. So a throw in for BYU down in the corner. Smith is there and will throw in for BYU. The pass intended for Mazingo. Intercepted by Utah Valley. And it will be a goal kick for Wolf. Wolf from Rochester Hills, Michigan. Mentioned the freshman, 5'7". Puts the ball in play. Promptly taken away by the Cougars. Roughly 31 minutes to go here in half number one. Just in case you were wondering, since we've spent the entire regular season without it, there is overtime. So if we get to the end, no ties. Foul will be called. I believe on Jenna Shepard. A push in the back of Bella Felino. So a foul and now a free kick coming for BYU. Mazingo lays the ball down and will take it. Let's see what the Cougs can do on this set piece. Mazingo runs up on it. The left foot into the box, a header, and it bounces off the top of the crossbar. That ball was placed perfectly. BYU had a look and just missed by inches. Yeah, what a great set piece from Brecken. She found Liv Wade on that header up there. Liv, unfortunately, couldn't keep it down all the way, but that was a beautiful flick on and a great uh, placement on that set piece from Brecken. Right, right, on, right on the six, right, in, right on top of the box. Just great placement for one of the attackers to go in and, and get their head on it. So a goal kick for Wolf. UVU will handle it. BYU once again showing pressure. And the Kooks come away with it. Another turnover for the Wolverines. To McCarthy, Rachel cuts back. Has three defenders around her. Oh, pass back. Intercepted by Utah Valley. They send it the other direction. Now both teams fighting for it. Out of play off of UVU. And Kendall Peterson will throw in on the far side for BYU. Right on the edge of the attacking third. And BYU will backtrack just a little bit. And the ball misplayed. And Utah Valley comes away with it. Looking to be opportunistic. Pass downfield to Weber. Wide to Stainbrook. Oh, and good defense by Olivia Smith. Oh, Olivia Smith saved a great look for Utah Valley. What a great defensive play by the Cougars. Throw in by Utah Valley, and Olivia Wade has it. Pass downfield. McCarthy on the move. She's not going to be able to catch up to it. Sydney Bushman gets there first. Back to Wolf in the 18, and now back to Bushman. Bushman gets the ball to Lee, the junior from West Jordan. Lee now plays the ball back to the Utah Valley back line. BYU's defense has been pretty impressive tonight, really putting pressure on Utah Valley. And it's forcing turnover after turnover. And just as I say that, BYU with the turnover. And here come the Wolverines crossing midfield. Trying to get the ball to Weber. Has it taken away. Here come the Cougars. Under 28 minutes to go. Mazingo has a defender on her heels. Brecken 
Steps out of one tackle. Taken down. No call. The ball will roll out of play. It'll be our first BYU corner kick. Our corner kicks are brought to you by Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. The Cougars will take it on the far left side. Each team now with one corner. BYU places it into the box. Ball kicked up in the air, and UVU kicks it downfield. BYU has it. Petey dribbles forward. Now a pass into the corner. Across. We'll go out of play, hit the side of the goal. But it will have ricocheted off of UVU. So another Mountain America Credit Union corner kick coming up. Back-to-back -back corners for BYU. Corner. Almost the exact same position. And BYU will come away with it. Oh, Mazingo had it. Slipped on the slick surface. Able to regain her balance, but lost the ball. Good hustle by Mazingo. But Utah Valley comes away with it. Weber dribbling out of pressure and loses it. BYU has it. Stratton back to Vaca on the other side of the pitch. And now wide to Peterson. Petey plays it forward. I believe that pass was intended for Mazingo, and it's intercepted by Utah Valley. Hughes pass downfield. Hits off of the BYU defender, and now you're going to have a call on Hughes for the foul. Another free kick for BYU. Cougs waste no time putting the ball back in play. Shepard crossing midfield to Petey, and now back to Leveni Vaca. Utah Valley now showing a bit of pressure. BYU content to work it on the back line until they find something that works for them to move forward. Now they'll pass across the pitch to Smith. Smith, a great ball into the box. Oh, McCarthy was there, and it just bounced a couple of uh, feet in front of her, and Wolf able to run to it first. That was another great ball just, into the box. Yeah, just great vision by Liv Smith to see Rach on that run-up right there. BYU is some pretty impressive passing so far. Sooner or later, that's going to be converted into a goal. Utah Valley will have possession. Sort of a, uh, a back and forth between BYU and UVU in the far corner. It goes off of the Cougars. In fact, I believe they're going to say, are they calling it? They did. They called a foul on BYU. So it's going to be a free kick in a very dangerous spot. You're about midway, the far touch line and the 18. You're about midway through. That's where the kick is going to be made. BYU setting up its wall, a three-person wall. A good opportunity here for UVU in a scoreless first half. Ball into the box, headed the other way by Vaca. But UVU had it momentarily, and the Cougars come away with it. And BYU has numbers. Two on one. Oh, good defense by Utah Valley. Hughes came in, got a foot on it, didn't allow BYU to make the pass. And UVU will have possession. Hughes has it, crossing midfield. To Weber. Weber's pass intercepted by the Cougars. Stratton has it. Izzy. Across the pitch to Vaca. Nearing 23 minutes to go here. And now Vaca sends it all the way back to the keeper, Savannah Mason. Both teams with a lot of pressure. And the ball goes out of play off of Utah Valley. A BYU throw in. We're going to have our first Zions Bank substitution. Zoe Jacobs and Allie Fryer will check into the ball game for the first time. 
Checking out will be number 33, Rachel McCarthy, as well as number 16, Kendall Peterson. So Petey and McCarthy out. Fryer and Jacobs in. Hey, Cougar fans, get more savings and more benefits with Boost by Smith's Rewards membership. You'll enjoy free delivery and two fuel points for every dollar you spend on groceries and lots more. Membership starts at just $59, so sign up today at smithsfoodanddrug.com slash boost. Ball put in play. Up for grabs at midfield. Cougars come away with it. Shepard on the move. Jamie, pass wide to Smith. Olivia into the corner to Mazingo. Mazingo. Trying to get around the defender. She does. Right-footed cross. Kicked up in the air. Both teams fighting for it. Smith is there. Able to block out the defender. It will go out of play off of the Wolverines. Throw in Cougs. 21-45 remaining in the first half. Ball put in play to Wade. Wade tried to dribble out of the triple team. Now passes back to Smith. Smith, a perfect ball into the the 18. BYU gets ahead on it. Bella Felino had a good look and it just bounced over the crossbar again. I am impressed Rachel with the passes that we are seeing pinpoint where they need to be into the box. Yeah the accuracy on that with Liv she took a, a, a glance up and saw Bella with that run in up there and unfortunately Bella couldn't keep it down but I mean Great job by, by BYU and by Liv to find Bella on that. Another errant pass by the Wolverines goes out of play, but it does hit off of BYU first. So Nicole Ray, yep, she'll hand the ball off to Hughes. Hughes will throw in right in front of the UVU bench. BYU takes it away. Good defense by the Cougars. BYU with one more shot than the Wolverines at 3-2. Both teams with one corner, and that actually is not true because BYU's had two. So the scoreboard is actually off. Hughes to Stainbrook. Ricochets off of Smith, out of bounds. So Ray will throw in the sophomore from Alpine. To Lee, and now they get the ball to Weber. Weber to Ray. Ray's cross into the box, headed up and over. Good look by UVU, but played perfectly by Savannah Mason. Utah Valley with a good look in the box. Weber got a head on it, but Mason was there. Now the Cougs looking to return it. Wade on the move. Pass to Fryer. Now back to Jamie straight away. To Wade. Wade to Jamie. Jamie with a shot. Hits off of Utah Valley. And Wolf misplays the ball. The ball was rolling to her. She was right by the inline, tried to pick it up, bobbled it, and the ball rolled out of bounds. So it will be BYU's third corner kick. Brought to you by Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. Mazingo lines up to take it. There's the whistle. Brecken runs up on it with the left foot. All the way through, nobody touched it. And a foul is going to be called on BYU. It will be Utah Valley possession. Utah Valley, from an offensive standpoint, they rank in the top five nationally in six categories. They're second in total assists, third in total goals, third in total points, third in assists per game, and fifth in shots on goal per game at just over nine. This has been a fantastic year for the Wolverines. BYU, however, looking to end their season tonight and move on to face either Stanford or San Jose. By the way, that game on ESPN Plus, uh, after this game actually, I believe that it starts at uh, 8 o'clock Mountain Time. About 18 minutes to go, UVU with an opportunity. Hannah Lee into the box. Good defense by Smith. Smith not allowing the shot to take place. BYU sends it the other direction. Good defense by the Cougars one more time. Mon, a pass down the field. 
The only player there wearing green. And Wolf will reset for the Wolverines. Cougs come into tonight 20th in the RPI, ranked 15th in the latest United Soccer Coaches poll. They finished second in the WCC to Santa Clara. On an 11 game unbeaten streak, they've won four or five. So BYU certainly on a hot streak. Looking to get on the board first. Here come the Cougars. Fryer to Wade, and now wide to Mazingo. Brecken goes to her right. Cross, cleared, but not far enough. BYU comes away with it. Smith has it, still in the attacking third. Straight away to Jamie. Jamie, shot with the left foot, defended well. And a foul is going to be called on BYU. So it will be Utah Valley possession. The stands full. And not just the main stands here at Southfield, but all of the auxiliary stands that they have on each end of the pitch here. Completely full tonight. With temperatures in the high 20s, well done, fans of both teams. Utah Valley possession and a bad pass rolls right out of play. BYU ball taken away by the Wolverines. UVU on the move. Crossing midfield, looking for Weber. Good defense by Jacobs. Jacobs sends it into the 18. Mason kicks it out of bounds. And a throw in coming up for the Wolverines right at the edge of the attacking third for Utah Valley. UVU plays it back to their back line. BYU showing pressure. Fryer makes Shepard move up. Now pass to the far side. BYU not allowing any decent passes. Out of bounds off of Utah Valley. Throw in Cougars. 15 and a half minutes to go. We are scoreless here at Southfield. Again, no ties at the end of regulation. The normal overtime rules will go. Takeaway by the Wolverines. On the move to Ray. Ray misplays it. And Savannah Mason will pick it up. UBU coaches applauding the effort by the Wolverines. Jacobs misplays the ball. Now Utah Valley with an opportunity in the attacking third. Good defense by the Cougars, though, sending it the other direction. Bella Felino right there. And now Bella on the move. Wide to Mon. UVU got to it, sends it the other direction. Stratton heading it up. The Utah Valley comes away with it. The ball wide for the Wolverines. Now back to Stainbrook. Shot with the left foot. Deflects off of BYU. Nope, they'll say off of Utah Valley. So a goal kick for BYU. Two more Zions Bank substitutions. Daviana Vaca will check in. And Tara Warner will also check in. Heading to the bench for BYU, Olivia Wade and Ellie Mon. For big time banking with a home team field, Zions Bank is for you. Mason with the goal kick, puts it back in play. Ball played forward to Warner, back to Mazingo, and now back to Stratton. Stratton, now a strong ball downfield to Bella. Bella cuts back towards the middle of the pitch. Tripped up, and the foul is called, and BYU is going to have a fantastic opportunity for a free kick about 25 yards out. We've seen similar plays like that with no call, so I wasn't 100% sure if we were going to get a whistle. Mazingo will take it for the Cougars. Cougar 
UVU setting up the three-person wall. Awaiting the whistle. We'll see if Brecken places the ball or sends it one direction or the other to reset. And she'll take it with the left foot. Oh, a shot sails wide of the post. That was a good look. Yeah, from that distance, I, I don't mind Brecken taking a shot on goal, even though it, it was off frame. I, that's certainly a position that I, I, I would shoot that if I were her too. Isabella Stewart checks in for UVU, taking a seat, Nicole Ray. And a goal kick from Wolf. With the pressure that BYU is showing, I've been surprised a couple of times that Wolf has not punted the ball downfield. Yeah, UVU is still looking to play it out of the back despite a little bit of the high press from BYU. Well, and BYU's press is forcing turnovers. There was a shot by Warner. An easy save by Wolf, but there we go. Now there's a punt downfield, but BYU right there to take it away. Dava has it. Passes back to Smith. Olivia, pass to Leveni Vaca. Lava catches up to it on the run. Shot from deep, and it is wide of the post that shot not on frame so another goal kick coming for wolf exactly 11 minutes to go here in the first half byu zero uvu zero uiu has not lost since losing to this uvu team back on the 10th of september Cougs looking for a little revenge tonight takeaway by the wolverines Coach LeMay not happy with something. UVU now will reset back to the back line. Now passing forward. BYU's pressure trying to force another turnover. UVU with a cross goes dangerously through and out of play. Cougs may have dodged a bullet there. Another substitution. Catherine Wynn will check in for Utah Valley. See who's coming out. It looks like it's number 12, Megan Sullivan. So Sullivan out and Wynn in. And a goal kick coming up. Under 10 minutes to go here from Savannah Mason. Mason plays it out of the, ba of the back line to Vaca, Vaca spins away from the defense. Gets the ball to Warner, and out of the far side. Pass taken away by the Wolverines, across the pitch. They'll get it to Stewart. Stewart, the sophomore from Gilbert, Arizona, and another turnover, BYU takes it away to Felino. Felino trying to dribble out of pressure, she does. Pass back to Smith, Smith downfield. Looking for Fryer. And Felino comes in. A pass intercepted by UVU. And now a bad pass by the Wolverines allows the Cougars to get back on offense. The ball at midfield. Stratton pushing forward now. Wide to Smith. Smith into the corner looking for Vaca. Daviana cannot get to it in time. Free, or excuse me, a throw in down near the corner for the Wolverines. Another substitution, Haley Richardson, the freshman from Great Falls, Virginia, in. And checking out is number nine, Hannah Lee. So we've seen several substitutions over the last couple of minutes from both teams. Throw in for the Wolverines. Smith is there, causing issues, and the Cougars come away with it. Olivia Smith has it. Pass to the middle of the pitch. Brecken was winding up for a shot, but good defense by the Wolverines takes it away. And now some miscommunication. The Cougars will come away with it. Right in the center circle is Jamie Shepard. Everything's sort of helter-skelter right now. Both teams just sort of scrambling. 
BYU with the ball in the corner. Cross into the box. Fryer is there. Passes back to Brecken. Brecken to Shepard. Jamie will take a shot from about 23 yards out, and it lands into the stands. Goal kick coming up for UVU. Great atmosphere here tonight. Ball put in play by the Wolverines. Ball knocked out of bounds off of BYU. Throw in for Utah Valley. UVU asking for a handball. Didn't get it. Turnover Wolverines. Cougar possession. Stratton to the near side to Smith. Smith cuts back towards the middle of the pitch. Smith on the move. Pass through looking for Fryer in the box. Really good pass, and all Utah Valley can do is clear it and kick it out of play. Another Mountain America Credit Union corner kick. Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. BYU's fourth corner of the night. Four corners for BYU to just one. They'll quickly play into Smith. Liv, cross into the box, through, cleared by Utah Valley. But Zoe Jacobs there, another shot with the left foot. Oh, and it hits off of the crossbar. Another goal! Ellie Fryer there after the ball hit off the crossbar. It bounced in front of the goal. Fryer was there and cleaned it up. And BYU now leads 1-0 here in the first half. What a great job by BYU to be aware of that second ball. Great job by Zoe to get, you know, that ball back into the box, back, back into the mix. I think the keeper might have gotten a touch on it, so she, it got a touch off on it off the crossbar, and Allie was there in the sixth to just put it away. Great job. Love to see BYU go up with just a few minutes left in this first half with all the looks and opportunities they've gotten. It, it feels great to have them put one away. What a, what a great job by Fryer to not give up and stay ready, and the ball came right to her. She wasted no time, immediately kicked it. It actually hit and sort of skipped off the bottom of the crossbar and in. The important part is BYU has a 1-0 lead with six minutes to go. Right. What a big confidence boost for the Cougars. And even more important, these next six minutes to be locked in completely on defense to not let any opportunities um, advance for UVU. Well, and we saw at LMU last weekend, BYU jumped up one nothing, and then within a couple minutes, LMU had tied it up. Now, BYU went on to score and win, but you're right. After you score a goal, you want to make sure those next couple of minutes, you've got uh, a lot of pressure not allowing them to get the equalizer. one nothing. BYU. UVU, a shot, deflects off of the BYU defense, out of play. It will remain with the Wolverines. Stewart checking out. Taylor Nelson will check in for Utah Valley. Five minutes to go here in the first half. Fryer with her first postseason goal of her career. BYU's defense in the corner forces another turnover. Cougars send it down the field. Wolf all the way out near midfield, sending it the other direction. UVU steps out of bounds with it. It will be BYU ball. That was Ali Fryer's eighth goal of the season. What a freshman campaign she has had. And hopefully lots more opportunities before this year is over. UVU ball at midfield. Pass taken away by the Cougars. Now Vaca has it. Back to Jamie Shepard. And now to Stratton. BYU working the back line. Across the pitch 
to Leveni Vaca. And now further to Jacobs. BYU leading 1-0. Now Stratton boots one downfield into the penalty area. Wolf there grabs it and eliminates an opportunity. Olivia Smith was barreling down on that. Actually, that's Aaron Bailey who's checked in. That was Aaron Bailey on the move. So a throw-in coming up for BYU right in front of our broadcast location. Smith intending the throw-in to go to Davini, er, to Daviana Vaca. Kicked out of play. Ta or excuse me, uh, Taylor Nelson is the one that knocked out of bounds. So throw-in for BYU. They do get it into Dava. And... Ball hits off of Daviana, out of play. Throw in for Utah Valley. Hughes into Shepard. Now across the pitch. And back to Jenna Shepard. Jenna crosses midfield to Hughes. Ashley Hughes from Salem. Pass into the box, defended perfectly by Smith. Spins, kicks downfield to Vaca. She does the same thing. Shepard is there. Jenna, that is. Pass taken away. BYU has it. Fryer. Pass by Fryer to Brecken Mazingo. Mazingo, as she's sliding, able to take a shot, and it just misses. That was a surprisingly good look for Brecken Mazingo as she's sliding to the ground. And it was good vision by Ali as she was going at the UVU defenders. I think they all kind of swarmed to her a little bit, so it lit, left some room for Brecken out wide to to um, place that through ball. Unfortunately, just couldn't get that, you know, on frame, but still a great look for BYU. Under 90 seconds to go. UVU right now just playing keep away. Another bad pass. Warner intercepts for the Cougars. And now they get it to Bailey. Bailey, the freshman. Stops. Starts with her left foot. Shot. Deflects. And UVU defends it perfectly. UVU clears. Oh, and an opportunity. It bounces away from Stratton. Weber gets to it. Can the BYU defense hold? The scoreboard has actually gone out here. So we don't really know what time it is. We're, I know we're under a minute. Shot into the box. And headed out of play by UVU. A dangerous look. Luckily, the header was off frame, and it'll be a goal kick with 30 seconds to go for Savannah Mason. one nothing BYU. Fryer scoring the only goal we've seen in this game tonight. And Savannah is not in a hurry to put the ball in place. We're nearing 10 seconds. Now she boots it at midfield. Vaca promptly gets to it and kicks it down the pitch. It rolls out of play. And that is the end of the first half. The freshman, Ali Fryer, giving BYU a 1-0 lead after 45 minutes. We will take a break. When we come back, we'll give you the first half stats. Also, we'll let you hear from Bella Felino, our Halftime player interview with Bella is also coming up when we return to Southfield. It's NCAA Tournament Women's Soccer here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.